Please join in singing our opening song number 457, Jesus Christ is Risen Today.
God, who on this day, through your only begotten Son, have conquered death and unlocked for us the path to eternity, grant we pray that we who keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection may through the renewal brought by your Spirit rise up in the light of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever.
word of the Lord. Christians to the Paschal Victim, offer your thankful praises. A lamb the sheep redeems, Christ, who only is sinless, reconciles sinners to the Father. Death and life have contended in that combat stupendous. The Prince of Life, who died, reigns immortal. Speak, Mary, declaring what you saw, wayfaring. The tomb of Christ who is living, the glories of Jesus' resurrection. Bright angels attesting the shroud and napkin resting. Yes, Christ, my hope, is arisen. To Galilee he goes before you. Christ indeed from death is risen, our new life obtaining. Have mercy, Victor King, ever reigning. Amen. Hallelujah.
So they dug it up. Of course, the coffin was open, and his body was present. The rumors continued. So 14 years later, they did it again. They dug it up in his coffin, and his body was in his coffin. Both times, witnesses were present who testified that President Lincoln was still in the grave. Three days after the death of our Lord Jesus Christ, similar rumors began to spread throughout the land of Israel. Only this time, there were no witnesses who could say that they had seen his body in the grave, in the tomb. In fact, to the contrary, many witnesses claimed his apostles and his disciples claimed to have seen him out of his grave and even talked with him after the resurrection. As great a man as President Lincoln was, there were witnesses to prove that he was still in the grave. One of our presidents or another leader in our government were to cry out today to President Lincoln for help. There would probably be no response. If a scientist were to cry out to Albert Einstein, one of the greatest in science for help today, there would probably be empty silence. But if you and I call out to Jesus Christ, our blessed Lord, there is an answer. There is help. It's offered in a gift of grace. Grace through the sacrament, sanctifying grace. It's available to us to change our lives. Why? Because he lives and the tomb is empty. We hear in today's first reading from St. Peter, the apostle of the apostles chosen by Christ to lead the church. What we as Christians who believe in Jesus Christ's resurrection are to do. St. Peter said, and I quote, He commissioned us to preach to the people and to testify that he is the one appointed by God as judge of the living and the dead, and that everyone who believes in him will receive forgiveness of sins through his name. End quote. Seeing and believing in Jesus Christ's resurrection can be for some today as much of a challenge as it was for Christ's apostles and disciples who were actual eyewitnesses to his glorious resurrection from the dead. It is through these Easter sacramental mysteries of baptism and reconciliation in the Holy Eucharist that we truly come to see and believe in the joys of the resurrection the joys of risen life. These Easter gifts are uncovered and revealed to each of us through our own self-sacrificing love of others as we imitate Jesus Christ, our blessed Lord. As we each model our lives after our divine teacher, we are invited, encouraged, and strengthened by grace to live these Easter mysteries, these Easter joys, through self-sacrifice, and opening ourselves up to the needs of others. Jesus Christ did this through a complete self-emptying gift of himself on the cross of Calvary that we commemorated on Good Friday, bringing redemption and salvation to the world through his glorious resurrection. The sacrament of baptism brings us the living water that refreshes and cleanses our souls. The sacrament of reconciliation reestablishes our familiar relationship to God, our Father, through the forgiveness of sin. And the Holy Eucharist is the resurrected body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ, a sacrament that nourishes us. It is Jesus Christ who nourishes us every time we receive the blessed sacrament in a state of grace. But we must allow Jesus Christ to encompass us in his embrace of love, never trying to control him, as many try to do. If we paid attention to today's Gospel from St. John the Evangelist, there are some specific details. It's interestingly that this Gospel specifically identifies three of Jesus' disciples present at the tomb, St. Mary Magdalene, St. Peter, 
and the disciple whom Jesus loved. Maybe by not specifically naming St. John the Baptist, or St. John the Evangelist, excuse me, the beloved disciple can symbolically function as a representation for each of us, because we are beloved sons and daughters of God, disciples through the sacrament of baptism. So instead of simply trying to completely understand the Easter mystery of the glorious resurrection of our Lord, we can be like St. John the Evangelist and simply run to the mystery and embrace it, so that we, like the beloved disciple, can enter into it so as to see and believe. Seeing and believing are not mental exercises of the intellect, but movements of a heart with an interior disposition to a personal relationship with the resurrected Lord. Our faith and belief in the resurrection is a matter of a willingness to take up our cross, to take up the cross of self-sacrifice like Christ did, allowing those in need like Jesus to come to him for help. As we each in a few moments will renew our own baptismal promises and are reminded of that new life that Jesus Christ has bestowed upon us, we recall today's song that we sang today. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Today is the eighth day of recreation given by God our Father for us to rejoice as we sing the Easter Alleluia that Jesus Christ has risen from the dead, destroying the bonds of sin and death. These Easter joys, these Easter Alleluia's that well up within our hearts and spring forth from our mouths are announcements to the world, announcements of our faith, our faith in the resurrection and our willingness to identify ourselves as disciples of Christ, to identify with his dying and rising, and our hope in the new life that Christ has obtained for us. We, like those three disciples mentioned in today's Gospel, also seek to see the body of our resurrected Lord, which will awaken and deepen our faith. The challenge is not so much for us to see and encounter Jesus Christ in the Holy Eucharist, which we will experience shortly when we receive Holy Communion today. But maybe the challenge is to encounter the risen Lord in each other. Easter is the time when Jesus Christ wants to make himself known to us more intimately, more profoundly, as he reveals himself through his glorious resurrection. May the Holy Spirit assist each of us to listen for Jesus Christ, to call us to recognize his unconditional love, his divine mercy, and proclaim his glorious resurrection through the lives we live. Praise be Jesus Christ, now and forever. Amen. Dear brethren, through the Paschal mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism, so that we may walk with him in newness of life. And so now that our Lenten observance is concluded, let us renew the promises of holy baptism, by which we once renounced the saint in his works, and promised to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. And so I ask you, do you renounce sin so as to live in the freedom of the children? God. Amen. 
You renounce the lore of evil, so that sin may have no mastery over you. Do you renounce Satan, the author and prince of sin? Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried? rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. Amen. You believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. May Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and bestowed on us the forgiveness of our sins, Keep us by his grace in Christ Jesus our Lord for eternal life.
for the safety of those in the military and for police officers, firefighters, and all first responders. May they be protected by the intercession of St. Michael the Archangel. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may be comforted and healed, and that those who have died may share the joys of heaven. We pray especially for Bill Ostrowski, for whom this Mass is offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Please pause now and add your own personal intention. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Almighty Father, your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, has risen from the dead as he promised us. In peace and joy, we present our prayers to you, to the same risen Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen.
Christ and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Exalted with Paschal gladness, O Lord, we offer the sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished through Christ our Lord. Therefore, Lord, we pray, 
graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, which we make to you, also for those to whom you have been pleased to give the new birth of water and of the Holy Spirit, granting them forgiveness of all their sins, order our days in peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O Lord, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect, make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven to you, O God, is of his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. <coughs> Receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, 
may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants, who have gone before us with the sign of faith, and sleep and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, though who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies. We graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your part, through Christ our Lord. Through him you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Alleluia. Therefore let us keep the feast of the unleavened bread of purity and truth. Alleluia. Alleluia.
upon your church, O God, with unfailing love and favor, so that renewed by the Paschal mystery she may come to the glory of the resurrection, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Bow down to the blessing. Please respond, amen, to the invocation. May Almighty God bless you through today's Easter solemnity, and in his compassion defend you from every assault of sin. Amen. And may he who restores you to eternal life in the resurrection of his only begotten endow you with the prize of immortality. Amen. Now that the days of the Lord's passion have drawn to a close, may you who celebrate the gladness of the Paschal feast Come with Christ's help and exalting in spirit to those feasts that are celebrated in eternal joy. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Sing with all the saints in glory. 